Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series and in today's episode we're going to be looking at how you can create a loading screen inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now the method that I'm going to be showing you isn't necessarily the best way to do it but it's most likely definitely the uh, most simplest way of doing it. Anyway, for those of you that don't know what a loading screen, it is essentially a image which is displayed between the transition from one level to another. Now the reason they put this image in here is to make it a little bit more visually appealing, you know, so when you go from one level to another it's not just, you know, jittering and, uh, you know, stalling, just staying still. Normally when you try and load another level it's going to freeze everything until it loads. Whereas if you put a loading screen in between, I'm going to go and show you an example that I've created here. When I walk up to this to go to the ne next level, it puts a little loading screen on there, it waits a couple of seconds, and then, you know, it loads it up. Whereas normally it would just freeze and then, you know, it just it's just not too good. Anyway, so let's go ahead and show you exactly how I created this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up my load level uh, blueprint here. Now, keep in mind there is loads of different ways that you can actually load level. Um, you know, it's all dependent on your game really. So, for example, you might want to uh, load the level, the next level, if you hit a certain score or if you get to a certain location in the level or if the player dies, it's entirely up to you. But for the most part, the uh, the simple script really for, you know, creating a loading screen is going to be exactly the same. So it doesn't matter whether it's colliding with the end game checkpoint or, you know, reaching a certain score. Anyway, so if you take a quick look at my event graph here for my little object that loads the next level, you can see I've just got begin overlap, which is going to be the event. So when I walk into it, it goes into the next level because you finished it. We create a widget, we add it to the viewport, we put a slight delay in there. And then after that, we go ahead and execute the open level function with our, you know, with the file name in there. Anyway, so some of you may or may not understand the delay and why we have it. I'll go ahead and explain that as we get in. Um, it's also going to create a widget, like I said here, um, but that widget is essentially just going to contain the loading screen. And for now, it's just a static image, but if you wanted to, you could add in a whole bunch of different text or progress bars or any other cool stuff. So, let's go ahead and do this. I'm just going to compile and get rid of that. So, the first thing I need to do is figure out exactly how we're going to change from one level to another. For me, we're just going to work with whenever the player collides with this. So go ahead and create a new blueprint actor, just as an example of how you can actually put one in. And name this whatever you want. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name this level change. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to go ahead and chuck in a basic little uh, cylinder, just so I can actually see it in the game. And that should be okay. The next thing I'm going to do is add a box collision. And this box collision is essentially so that we can we know when the player collides with something. So I'm just going to make this box collision nice and big, just like that. And now we can actually start getting into the script. So the first thing we need to do is get a reference to when you overlap this box collision. Doing that is quite simple. Just go over to the components, click the box, drag it in, and then over the events, just go to begin overlap, just like that. Make sure you delete the other reference as well, just to keep it all tidy. Anyway, the next thing we need to do is before we even start loading the level, we need to create a widget and add it onto the viewport. Because if you do it after the load level function, it won't be displayed on the screen. So let's go and do this. Just create widget and then add that to the viewport. Okay, the next thing you need to do is create a widget for your loading screen. Um, it's quite simple. If you haven't done it already, you can quite easily do it. Just uh, go ahead and check out the previous videos on all the UI stuff and you can figure out how to do it. But for now, we're just going to create a new one, a very simple one. So widget blueprint and I'm going to call this loading BG. Uh, okay, loading BG stuff. I'm going to open that up. And I'm just going to go ahead and chuck an image in there. You can put whatever image you want, really. Um, you can import images into the engine quite simple. You just got to drag them in from a desktop or wherever, and then just chuck it into the content browser. From there, you can go ahead and use it. 
I've got this little loading image that I made for a project that I'm working on already. So I've already imported it and I can go ahead and use it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Let's go to brush image and then I'm going to make sure that I anchor it to the whole screen. So regardless of the screen resolution, it's going to fill the whole screen and it's going to look really nice. So I'm just going to drag that all the way up to the edges, just like this. And I'm going to chuck some text on here and I'm going to make this text say loading. If you wanted to, you can add really fancy stuff like add the file name from a binding. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that in today's episode, but it is something you can do. So I'm going to make this loading text a little bit bigger. There you are. And I'm just going to center that. Going to change the font maybe. Okay, I don't have any other fonts on this one, but you know. Uh, I'll just set this to 100. Chuck it in there. And boom. So I'm going to compile and save that. If we go back to our level change blueprint now, we can change the widget class to loading BG stuff. If we press compile, close it. And now if we jump into it, you can see it should open up just like that. But right now, nothing actually happens. So we need to set up the level change bit. Oh, I think I've got more than one of these actors in the level actually. So let's go ahead and do this. Just uh, level change, I'm gonna drag it in, place it in here. And if we walk into it, you're gonna see that nothing happens. There you go, just the loading screen comes up. It won't go away, uh, so yeah. Also, you notice my loading text is a little bit off, so you might want to anchor that as well to the center. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to open up my loading screen, my loading BG stuff thing, anchor it, just anchor it to the center, and we're all good. Okay, so level change. Let's add in the open level now. If we go ahead and add in the next bit, which is open level. Inside of open level, you need to set the level name. I'm going to set this to demo1. Now you need to make sure you have the map name really correct, uh, well not really correct, but it's got to be precise. If you get it wrong, it's not going to load and it's going to cause all kinds of issues. So just go to file and then open and then just get the exact file name from here. It just makes things so much easier. But now if I go ahead and press play and I walk up to this, it's going to freeze for a second, it's going to open up the loading screen and it's going to chuck you into the next level. Now, what I usually like to do is I usually like to add a slight delay in between add to viewports and open level. Because sometimes it loads the level really quick and you don't even get to see the loading screen. So I usually put in like a 0.5 second delay. It will increase the loading time overall if you're using this system because it's going to wait before it even starts off the function. But it just makes it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So if I go ahead and press play, run up to this and boom. We, it's loading in a second and then uh, the next level should come up. Anyway, that's pretty much the basics for a loading system inside of Unreal Engine 4. Keep in mind you can incorporate this into however you want to fire off the next event, but the whole process of creating a loading screen is essentially creating a widget before you fire off the open level function and then a slight delay and yeah. Now, one thing you might want to do before you do all of this is uh, remove from parent. Um, inside your, you know, your widget here, you can actually fire off a command to get rid of all the UI stuff. You might want to do that. It's entirely up to you. But if you have, uh, you know, the, the Z order all set up inside of your loading screen, it should make it all go in the very top and it just goes on top and it should all work. Anyway, that's pretty much everything for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.